Here's a single line diagram representing our synchronous generator um, set up to synchronize to the infinite bus or the infinite grid. So in the lab, our, uh, our turbine is going to be our lab volt uh, prime mover. Um, this represents our synchronous generator. This represents the synchronizing module or the synchronizing switch that we have in the lab. And the infinite bus or the infinite grid, this is going to be our uh, bench um, source uh, power supply, which is going to represent us um, synchronizing to Nmax. So the generator can run in two different modes, standalone mode or synchronized mode. You've already studied standalone mode in the previous lab. In this lab, we're going to look at how this generator behaves once it's synchronized and also what are the conditions for synchronizing the generator. So in standalone mode, we observed that the mechanical power input to the, uh, the generator from, the, from the, the turbine, or in our case, the prime mover, by changing the mechanical power input, we would affect the speed, we could affect the frequency, and we would actually affect the output voltage. Um, that's what the, uh, by adjusting the mechanical power on the shaft of the uh, generator does. So the excitation current, this can only control the voltage output of the generator. Now when we're operating in synchronized mode, um, when we adjust the mechanical power input to the generator, the only thing we can adjust is the real power or the P. And by adju us adjusting the excitation, the only thing we're going to adjust is the reactive power or the Q. So we can overexcite or underexcite the machine to import or export um, reactive power, and we could also import or export um, real power. So the meter set up is we have a frequency meter to measure the incoming frequency, a voltage to measure the uh, voltage from the generator, we have the synchronizing switch, then we have two meters, one for the voltage of the grid, one for the frequency of the grid, and these devices allow us to monitor all the conditions that we require in order to synchronize the generator to the infinite bus. So in the next uh, video, we'll look at what are the conditions for synchronizing and how do we meet these conditions.